Guys, today's drill, we're going to be working on our, uh, our lower half as a pitcher, being a little bit more controlled with our front side. As pitchers, we don't want to be falling into our throw uh, or opening the gate, as some of you guys uh, may see uh, on videos or, or things that we talk about at our PC days. We want to basically ride the slope, and our front leg wants to look like a slide. All right, so what we're going to be using is just a simple school folder. All right, where we're working on coming set, and I'll show a couple different views. We're here. You can obviously look down so you can see where your foot placement is on on the uh, on the folder. When you do this exercise, you're only putting the balls of your feet down on the ground. You want to keep your heel up. All right, so when you get further out there, you can drop that heel, and you won't just keep sliding out. Okay, but you're going to have this folder basically right in between your two feet as you come set. You're going to lift up, get to that balance point. You're going to come straight down. You can see I'm on the balls of my feet. All right, it's like stepping on eggshells. And then I'm extending out, boom, into this position here. You can see I dropped my front heel. I'm loaded. I'm engaged in my backside. All right, and my weight is into my back heel. Okay, I'll give another uh, view. I'm here. I'm coming set. I'm up. I'm down, I'm controlled, okay, and then I'm extending out. Remember, your hands tell your knees when to break, all right? That's one of the, uh, the mental notes that we use as pitchers to stay on time. So I'm here, when I come up and I come down, I'm using my hands to separate, okay? You can see I'm on the balls of my feet right there, boom. And I'm in this position. One of the big things that we talk about is being glute dominant and not just quad dominant. Being glute dominant allows us to be more explosive and drive more power into our throw. Keep note is trying to keep your knee behind your front toe or uh, behind your toes. That way your back leg, your, your, uh, your shin is going to stay as perpendicular to the ground as possible. A lot of times we'll get here and we do one of these. Okay, you see that back heel comes up, that knee's all the way out in front. Okay, this ties into that previous video talking about the hip hinge with the chair. All right, this is very important. Here, we're up, we're down, pull. And I'm in this position here. Okay, a little bit more advanced exercise, but again, you could do it without the folder. You want to just work here, up, down, boom. You can do that as well. The folder just forces you to stay light on that front side. All right, if you notice my point of contact with my front foot in a perfect world, I'm going to land heel toe. Okay, it's okay if you land flat footed, that's not a problem. We definitely want to try and avoid landing on our toe. Okay, if we're landing on our toe, that's typically when we're uh, falling into our throat too much, opening up the gate. You're not going to really be able to lock out that front, that front leg and really uh, stabilize that front leg for uh, our hips to really power through. So that is the pitching drill for the day.